Uh oh. Is it another ninja dude? So tell me. Is this another one of those guys who is full of oh, no! Hey, what's up my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Gokaiger. Furaimaru! So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here, you have a nice picture there of Furaimaru along with Hurricane Gokaio. On the top of the box, you have Gokai Red, Hurricane Red, Furaimaru. On this side of the box, you have the combination. On the other side of the box, you have more of the combination. On the bottom of the box, again, Gokai Red, Hurricane Red, and Hurricane Gokaio. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, does this, that, the other, all that good stuff. And, of course, you get Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along here, we have Furaimaru, the next Gokai machine in this line, and the next one they received on the show. Um, very cool. Um, this is coming from Hurricaneger, which uh, later in America became Power Rangers Ninja Storm. And uh, it's, it's really cool. It's a neat little robot dude. I have not watched Hurricane Gear, so I actually don't know anything about this, but it looks cool. Getting closer on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. You get some nice silver paint apps in there, along with some metallic red in the eyes. You do get some nice gold paint apps throughout, as well as some nice Bandai silver throughout, picking out some details. Uh, these are stickers right here on the blades, with the Gokaiger symbol on it. So the hands are just molded in place, right there. Come down, you got some more of that gold on the legs. On the back you do get his giant pinwheel of murder, death, justice. Again with a big sticker on it with the Gokaiger logo on it. So very, very cool. Articulation wise, you know, he can he can rotate his arms, he can do a full 360, he can he can shrug, you know. <laughs> Furai Maru, what are we gonna do about this? Oh. But he does have on here on his back his giant pinwheel of murder, death. It does have a locking mechanism. There's this little tab right here. You just release that, and it will spin. Woo! Nice and free. As spinning things should. Wee! There you go. And on the back of it, there are some molded details. You do get the Gokaiger logo actually molded in back there. So that's really nice. And unfortunately, he can't actually hold it or do anything with it. He only can wear it as a backpack. And to take it and lock it back into place, you'll see there's a little there's a little notch right in there. You just line that up with that tab and then just push that in. And that locks it back in place. And then you can see there is a tab, tab, slot, slot. And right here you have slot, slot, tab, tab. And you just line everything up. Push it on, and there you go. Now, he does have the spring-loaded gimmick on his arms, which allow the shurikens to fully extend. If you don't like the look of the blades sticking out the way they do, you can just take the whole thing and just collapse it in. The proper transformation is to have him holding the one blade out, like he's, you know, holding the blades out. But if you don't like that, you can just collapse it all in like that. Totally up to you how you want to display it, but the proper transformation is to have that one blade sticking out, so. There you have that. And just for a sense of uh, his size here, here he is with a deluxe transformer. There's Combiner Wars Rook, just so you can see. He's about a head taller than a deluxe-sized transformer, so. There you have that, just so you can get a sense of how he scales. And for another sense of scale here, here he is with Gokaio. So you can see how he scales with Gokaio. So there you go. So now we will get down to the combination with Gokaio. Now to get him ready, you're basically going to uh, rip him limb from limb. So just rip off his arms, rip off his legs, take this off his back. 
you want to take this uh, this little crest piece here, just push that all the way down. Like that. You want to take these pegs right here, flip them up. This had already flipped itself up, but just flip these up with that, and that's ready to go. Now you want to take the arm, you do want to tuck all of the blades in to the arm, like that, to get that ready. Do the same thing here, just flip this all in, like that, and there you have that. With the legs, you just want to make sure that these tabs are folded down all the way. So, now you're ready to go. So now we will bring in Gokayo. And excuse me as I readjust myself, ladies and gentlemen. Because, of course, I want to make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing here. So, there we go. So we'll just open him up. Open up all his compartments here. Get him prepped. Of course, we have to remove the cannon from his chest. So, as usual, this lever right here, just pull that back. Pops right out. Put that off to the side. And we're going to take this section right here. As usual, everything is color-coded. Color quoted. Color quoted? We're quoting the colors, people. We're qu and I quote. These are colors. Color coated. So you have the red arrow here, and again, this end up. So you just want to make sure that this is... I forget how this is supposed to go. I think it's supposed to tuck in like that. We'll see. But this basically plugs into the chest. Lock it into place. And I think this is... Yeah, it's supposed to go tucked in... Like that. I believe that's how that works. Make sure that's closed back up. I think that's right. We'll find out when we actually try to work everything here. <laughs> so here we have the arm pieces. You can see this is blue. This end up. So take it. Plug this into blue. There you go. Close that up. Green. Well, since it is green, that's a white arrow instead because it's all green. Plug that in, so it snaps in place, close that up, and then you got the legs here, pink, so just like that, put that in place, close her up, and last but not least, yellow. So again, push that in, kind of a snug fit too, get in there, there we go, whoops. I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't tell you to do that. There we go. This one, for some reason, is a really, really snug fit. Oops. The swords are popping out. Let me just remove the swords. Just kind of getting in my way. Get out of my way, man. This one, there we go. Boom, there we go. Don't know why that was giving me problems. There you go. So now we have everything ready to go. So again, I'll try to angle this camera in a way that you will be able to see everything that's going to happen here. Hopefully, maybe. I think so. We'll try. Oh, another thing you want to do too, I totally forgot. Another bit of prep work you have to do with Gokayo is you want to remove his hats. Don't need this. So There we go. Now we're ready. So bring this back down and hope that everything works alrighty so let's go keep our fingers crossed as usual turn the wheel on the back to the left open everything up and here we go oh yes everything worked Woo! awesome <laughs> So there you go. There is a bit that you do have to do manually here, right here at the head. Um, you do want to take these little ear pieces and flip these out, and you want to actually clip this mask on. See, there's a clip right here, so just clip it on right there to secure it in place. And there you go. There you have Hurricane Go Kayo. And it's pretty cool, a pretty cool combination. As usual, if you don't like this thing hanging out, you just remove it, close that up. And of course, if you don't like any of these panels hanging out, they pop right off. So if you want a cleaner looking combination, you can have it. There you go, there you have Hurricane Gokayo, and he has a bunch of shurikens. 
coming out of his limbs. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat effect. And just to look at the shurikens here that come out of the legs, they do have those little stickers on them. Right, the Gokaiju symbol on it. And do have the molded Gokaiju symbols on the other side, which is nice. So, pretty cool combination. Uh, we'll get in closer on the head, just so you can see the new head. That's really cool. I do like that. Again, I, I haven't watched Hurricane so I don't know what this is all supposed to be referencing, but it looks cool. It looks really cool. I really like the face here with the visor. Actually, nice metallic red paint here on that mouth plate. Um, very nice. The Hurricane logo there on the chest. Now, this isn't totally accurate because on the show, the Hurricane logo actually takes up most of the chest. So, of course... For the sake of the toy being able to work, they had to shrink it down for it to be able to fit where it needs to fit. So, unfortunately, this is very tiny compared to the giant symbol that the show model has. But, it is what it is. It has to work in the real world, unfortunately. But still, pretty, pretty cool combination nonetheless. And, of course, you can give Gokaio the, the giant pinwheel of murder death. He can hold it in either hand. So, there you go. Pretty neat combination. I dig it. I dig it. It's pretty cool. So, there you have that. Yeah. Neat combination. Again, you know, you, you do kind of end up with this big empty gap here, but again, just for the sake of everything being able to actually work, I don't see any other way they could have handled that, unfortunately. But... There it is. There you have Hurricane Gokaio. Again, another cool figure from an awesome show that I absolutely loved. If this interests you in any way whatsoever, by all means, hunt it down, pick it up. They're pretty cool and do compliment your Gokaio very, very well. So if you would like this or any Gokaiger or any Super Sentai merchandise, you can always check out Big Bad Toy Store's BigBadToyStore.com's selection. There will be a link in the description down below, so do check it out. And I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Go Kaiger Furai Maru. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Pull me in your face. Hi there. Who are you? Mm -hmm. You don't know who you are? Mm -hmm. Do you know where you're from? Do mm -hmm. you have amnesia? Mm -hmm. What's that giant pinwheel on your back for? Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Thirsty? Mm. Do you like burritos? Mm. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have a conversation with a wall. Probably be more interesting. <laughs>